Hello and welcome back to the second part of our Go High Level WordPress deployment tutorial series. If you're new to Go High Level, it's an exceptional all-in-one marketing and CRM solution designed specifically for agencies and professionals. It offers a wide range of features and functionalities that can greatly benefit your business, such as increasing conversion rates, creating effective marketing funnels, managing clients efficiently, and even starting your own digital marketing agency. To get a comprehensive understanding of Go High Level and its unique value proposition, I highly recommend watching the first part of this tutorial series. In that video, I cover everything from the basics of Go High Level to its key features and how it can revolutionize your business operations. By watching the first part, you'll gain insights into the power and affordability of Go High Level and how it can help you achieve your business goals more effectively as well as you will also learn to install WordPress within the Google Cloud powered hosting server. So, if you want to explore the full potential of Go High Level and learn why it's the go-to solution for agencies and professionals, make sure to check out the first part of this tutorial series. In this video, we will cover several important topics to further enhance your understanding of Go High Level and WordPress deployment. Here's a glimpse of what we will explore. First, we will see how to add your own domain using the DNS records. I will walk you through the process of connecting your domain to your Google-powered Go High Level hosting server. Second, we will learn how to add a subdomain. This will allow you to organize and manage multiple websites or landing pages efficiently. Third, we will explore how to migrate an existing website to the Go High Level server. I will guide you through the steps of migrating your website from its current hosting provider to the Go High Level server, ensuring a smooth transition without any disruption to your site's functionality. Fourth, we will see how to add an FTP user to your WordPress Go High Level hosting. This will enable you to securely access and manage your website's files. Fifth, we will see how to delete a WordPress installation from the Go High Level server. Lastly, we will evaluate our website's performance using popular tools like GT Matrix, Pingdom, and PageSpeed Insights, helping you to compare it with your existing hosting provider. Finally, don't forget that Go High Level offers a 14-day trial period for you to explore and test their platform. If you find that the trial period isn't sufficient to fully experience all the features, you can request a trial extension to ensure you make an informed decision about incorporating Go High Level into your business workflow. So, if you're ready to unleash the full potential of Go High Level and deploy your own WordPress website, I encourage you to click the link provided in the video description. Now, let's start where we left off in the first part. By default, when you install WordPress in Go High Level, it will be installed on a subdomain created by Go High Level itself. However, we don't need this subdomain as we want to use our own domain instead. This way visitors can access our website using our own domain name, rather than a random subdomain. To add your own domain, you have two options. You can either purchase a new domain, or you can use an existing domain. If you decide to use an existing domain, it is crucial to create an offline backup of your website using the all-in-one WP migration plugin before proceeding with any changes. This backup will serve as a safety measure allowing you to restore your website's data if you plan to migrate it from your current hosting provider. Next, click on the Add Domain button. Enter your domain name and click on this button to generate a unique key value pair for the DNS record. To connect your own domain with the Go High Level WordPress hosting server, you will need to add two TXD DNS records and an A record to your domain provider's DNS settings. Now, Copy the key text provided by Go High Level from the first TXD record key value pair and proceed to log into your domain provider's website. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using Namecheap as the domain provider, but you are free to use any domain provider of your choice. Once you have logged into your domain provider's website, check if you have previously added any custom name servers for your domain. If you have added custom name servers, make sure to reset them to the default name servers provided by your domain registrar. This is important because Go High Level's WordPress hosting server does not require custom name servers and will use the default name servers provided by your domain registrar. Once you're sure with name server settings, navigate to the DNS settings 
and delete the default DNS records. Next, look for the button that allows you to add new DNS records. After that, click on the same button. Select the TXT record option from the drop-down menu and paste the key text provided by Go High Level into the corresponding field. Now, return to the Go High Level page and copy the value text. Next, go back to your domain provider's DNS setting page and paste the value text provided by Go High Level into the appropriate field. Make sure to select a TTL value of 30 minutes from the drop-down menu. Finally, save the changes to add the TXT record in your DNS setting. Similarly, add the second TXT record key value pair from Go High Level to your domain provider's DNS setting page. Please note that the exact steps for adding DNS records may vary depending on your domain provider's interface, but the general process should be the same. Once you have added both TXD records in your domain provider's DNS settings, return to the Go High Level platform. Next, we need to add an A record to our domain's DNS settings with the value of this IP address. This A record will point our domain to this IP address of the Go High Level WordPress hosting server. To add the A record, go back to your domain provider's DNS settings page, select A record from the drop-down menu, Enter the at symbol in the key field and paste the copied Go High Level WordPress hosting IP address into the value field. Once you have entered the necessary information, save the changes to add the A record to your DNS settings. Now, return to the Go High Level page, check this checkbox, and finally click on this button to verify the newly added record. During the verification process, you may encounter an error message. This can occur because it usually takes around 30 minutes for the DNS records to propagate. In some cases, it may take up to 24 hours for the changes to propagate properly. If you encounter an error message, there is no need to worry. Simply wait for a few minutes and try again. In most cases, the DNS record verification process is completed successfully within a few minutes. To check the status of DNS propagation, you can visit a website like whatsmydns.net. Simply enter your newly added website's address and click on the corresponding button. This will display the DNS propagation status on a world map. It is normal to see a few areas highlighted in red, indicating that the propagation is still in progress. In my case, the DNS propagation was completed within 5 minutes. Once you have confirmed that the DNS propagation is complete in most locations, return to the Go High Level platform and verify the DNS records as you did earlier. Now that our DNS records have been successfully verified, it's time to check if our website is functioning properly. Now you can see that our website is live on the internet. In the next step, we will migrate a fully functional website hosted on another hosting server to our newly added Go High Level domain. To do this, let's log into the website we want to migrate to our Go High Level server. To migrate the website to the Go High Level hosting server, the first step is to install the all in one WP migration plugin. To do so, hover over the plugins tab and click on Add New. Now, head over to the plugin repository search field and search for the all-in-one WP migration plugin. Next, install and activate the same plugin from the search results. Once the plugin is activated, hover over the all-in-one WP migration tab and click on export. From the drop-down menu, click on the file option. The plugin will start preparing the export package for your website. Once the export package is ready, download it. After successfully downloading the export package, return to the Go High Level WordPress dashboard page. Now, drag and drop the exported file into this field. 
While the WordPress backup file upload is in progress, please wait for it to complete. Once the upload is finished, click on the Request Migration button to initiate the migration process. The duration of the migration process can vary depending on the size of the previous website, but it typically takes around 30 minutes. After the migration process has been successfully completed, it's time to visit the home page of your newly migrated website. Before login to the Go High Level WordPress backend, you need to keep in mind that the migration includes not only the themes and plugin data, but the entire WordPress installation. Therefore, when login to your Go High Level WordPress backend after the migration, remember to use the login ID and password that were used for the previous website. Now that we have successfully connected our own domain and deployed a fully functional WordPress website on the Go High Level server, let's proceed to run the page speed benchmarking test. We will begin by testing our website using GT Metrics website performance testing tool. Upon analyzing the results, we can see that our Go High Level website's benchmarking results are outstanding. The website has achieved impressive page speed and performance scores, indicating an optimized and well-performing website. Next, let's check the page speed using Google's Page Speed Insights tool. This tool will evaluate the performance of our website on both mobile and desktop devices. Once again, the benchmarking results are remarkable for our website on both mobile and desktop devices. The website has achieved excellent scores, emphasizing its fast loading speed and optimized performance. These exceptional benchmarking results validate the effectiveness of hosting our WordPress website on the Go High Level server, ensuring a seamless and high-performing user experience. Don't forget to take advantage of Go High Level's 14-day trial by clicking on the link provided in the description. Thank you for watching, I appreciate your time and attention. If you have any further questions or need assistance, feel free to comment down below. Stay tuned for more videos in the future, see you next time.